that is what GT fishing is all about, guys. Okay, guys, there's various different types of uh, knots and different methods that you can use to connect your, your main line um, to your leader. Today, I'm going to run you guys uh, through an FG knot. Um, it's actually not a very hard knot to tie, guys. Um, I'm going to show you a different, there's a couple of different methods to tie it. I'm basically going to show you which I've found has been the easiest for me to teach guests how to tie this knot. So you take your main line. Normally you would have this line coming straight off your reel, guys. So you'll have a bit of tension from, uh, from the reel. We're just going to use this little bit of weight here for attention today. And all you do is basically make a loop in your braid, like so. And uh, what you want to do is just basically introduce this mono inside that loop, leaving you with three pieces of line. What you do there is you basically just plaiting the mono piece around the two pieces of braid. So um, I'm going to show you what is the easiest method to learn, guys. And how you end up tying it yourself in the long run is entirely up to you. But basically, you just take those two like that. One is your tag end, one is your main line. And you literally go one way with the one line and the opposite direction with the other line, going around the mono each time, as you see there going around the mono in opposite directions. So one way with the tag end, the other way with the main line. Keep it fairly tight, guys. You don't have to put too much pressure on it because you're gonna lock it down uh, later. So you just keep going, go about eight times or so. Basically join these two lines again, put them together so they're one. And uh, what you wanna do is just basically, you'll see you're not like so. You just wanna quickly knock it down just a little bit, take up a little bit of the slack and again, do that exact same thing another eight times. So break the pieces of lines apart. And you'll notice that this was the last one I did. So we're going to go around with that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then again, just uh, lock it down a bit. With the FG knot, guys, a lot of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they make that knot too long. You do not want that knot to be too long because basically what happens is when you pull the main line and the leader to tighten up that knot, what happens is the braid is thinner so it pulls a lot easier through the knot. So the knot will generally tighten up from this end through to that end. If you make it too long, the braid won't tighten up all the way through the knot and you might be left with that little piece there at the end that's not bitten down onto the mono. And what happens? A few casts, your knot goes through your runners maybe 20, 30 times during the day, and then all of a sudden you hook a fish, and oh, bang, a hook fell out. You think, you wind back, and all you end up with is a half tied knot, and your mono has actually slip, slipped through. So be very cautious not to tie your FG knots too long, guys. How you finish this knot off is very simple. You just basically take those lines, we're going to apply a bit of tension, guys, through your, on your reel. Just click your bail over. So all you do is you tie, take the braid, put it around the braid, the main line, and the mono, and just tie a very, very simple half hitch, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to tie six of these. I personally go the same way on every half hitch, guys. There is people that will tell you you need to go opposite ways, whatever. That's all personal preference, I believe. I've been tying it like this for since I learned how to tie this knot and I've never had a problem. So we tie six half inches over the braid and the mono, like so. Six half inches over the braid and the mono at six. And then what we do is we just take the mono out of the equation and we tie six half inches just over the main line, like so. As you can see there, guys, we've had we've done six half inches over the braid and the leader, and then another six half inches just over the main line. I always leave my tag ends to cut off right at the last job. So the only thing we have left to do here is uh, tension the knot up. So there is a few different tools that you can use to tension braid knots, but um, I end up just using my pliers. They seem to do a perfect job. So. Just take your braid, main line and just wrap, wrap it around your pliers a few times. You've got a nice firm grip on there. 
there's your knot just take a couple of wraps around your hand with the mono and just give it a nice pull guys and as you pull it you'll see the the braid will actually go clear as it bites into the mono so there you have it nice and job done okay there you have it guys a perfectly tied an fg knot uh, ready to go tussle a few fish so all we have left to do is just cut the tag ends off guys i normally leave about a millimeter of a tag end if that you don't really need to, the knot does not slide if you've pulled it nice and tight it simply does not slide so braid tag end you cut off as close as you possibly can cut it off without damaging the main line and there you have it guys a nice and neat fg knot Now that is what GT fishing is all about, guys.